Hey guys, it's Hillbilly GG coming at y'all with another banger mouse comparison video, man. Today we got the Razer Bassless V3 Pro versus the G502X. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit of differences, which one I think is better. You know, we'll just call it the Battle of the Bricks. Man, I'm sorry, I just got the G502X uh, video out today or yesterday, because you'll probably be watching this one tomorrow. Um, man, guys, I've been moving a lot. Haven't really had time to mess with YouTube and there's all these other things, but I'm back on the grind now. So again, just comment whatever mouse videos y'all want to see, comparison videos y'all's comparison videos y'all want to see, and just let me know in the comments, guys. And remember, always like, subscribe, and comment. I reply to all my comments, guys. So let's get into this comparison video. So right here, we got the Battle of the Bricks. We got the original brick, the G502X, and we got the Bassless V3 Pro. Which one is better? So let's go over both mouses real quick. Um, you both got optical switches. You got Razor's optical switches here. You got the Life Force uh, Logitech optical hybrid switches here. You both got hyper scrolling dongles, not dongles, scroll wheels. This one does have smart scroll, which I always deactivate because it's kind of weird in my opinion when you're playing games and you actually scroll and it just starts scrolling forever. That's nice. Now the Bassless does have more RGB. Both of them have great feats on the bottom. Um, they fill up around the same. I will say that the uh, G502 does feel a little bit wider. The G502 is also about, I'll say about 10 grams lighter. When you're talking about brick mice, it's not that make it or break it. But if you do use one of these mice for FPS, which I do not recommend, um, it does make a little difference there. But as far as MOBAs, RBGs, all, all that stuff, you're not going to really know the difference. All right, guys. So which one is better? Okay, so I'm usually a Razer fanboy. I love everything Razer. Now, this is still rocking the Fusion Pro sensor, the new one, the 30K DPI. This one's still rocking the uh, Hero sensor, you know, upgraded. They did some more tech to it, whatever. Both sensors are fantastic. I will say the Razer sensor is a little bit better. Um, but with the weight on the weight discount on this you get an extra 30 hours of battery life on the g502 as well so you were looking at 90 hours on the uh bassless v3 pro you got 120 hours on the g502x is it worth it on the sensor performance not really in my opinion both have fast optical switches now i will say in this case in my opinion everything about the G502X is better than the Bassless V3 Pro. Obviously, I made a review on the G502X. I didn't on the Bassless V3 Pro. I feel like it's too heavy. I mean, this to me is like compared to the old G502 versus this one. I mean, at least they tried to cut weight here. I mean, they got it to about 102 grams, depending on the copy. Got this one. I mean, I think the wired version of this is like 89. I think the old Bassless V2 Pro was like 107 so they've even went up in weight i mean the rgb is cool like i said if you're not a fps gamer it really doesn't matter i still recommend the g502 over it the g502x over it because you do have those extra uh those extra two buttons up top for programming where the bassless doesn't if i was playing a moba or rbg or whatever i would rather have the two extra buttons versus losing them over here because other than that they both have three side buttons they both have tilt scroll they both have hyper scroll i mean and also this mouse is 20 dollars more expensive than the g502x so in my opinion i feel like the g502x is all around just a better choice better mouse i wouldn't even think about getting the bassless and that's talking to somebody that i mean everything i pretty much main is razor i mean i main the death adder v3 Huntsman TKL V2 keyboard. I mean, everything I have is Razer, mousepad Razer, you know, everything Razer. And at this point, I have to give it to Logitech. Logitech makes the better brick. I mean, that's all I really got to say about it. It's lighter, better battery life. Um, I mean, it's fantastic. My, both mouses are decent. They're both packing great tech, but as far as battery life, weight, extra buttons, you have to go with the G502X, the original creators of the brick Logitech. And like I said, guys, I really appreciate all the support uh, on the channel I've been getting recently. And I, man, I just want to say thank y'all, man, like very much. Uh, I was always hesitant about starting this and y'all maybe want to keep going. Like I said, I was moving the last two or three weeks. That's why I haven't posted in a while. So I hope all y'all have a blessed rest of the night or day whenever you're watching this. 
And just remember, man, I love you, but God loves you more. Peace.